Okay, to start this problem, we're going to rewrite cosine of 2 theta in terms of sine. Well, using the double angle formula, I guess one of the double angle formulas of for cosine. 2 cosine theta equals 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So that's going to equal the sine of theta. Well, now we have basically a quadratic equation. So we want to set that equal to 0. So we might as well move everything over to the right side. We get 0 equals 2 sine squared theta plus sine of theta minus 1. Okay. That will factor into 2 sine theta minus 1 times sine theta plus 1. Right? That gives me negative 1. That gives me 2 sine theta minus sine theta. Okay, so we got that. So now we've got, we set both those factors equal to 0. 2 sine of theta equals negative 1. Sine of theta equals negative 1 half. When we take Oops, it's going to be positive 1, not negative 1. Positive 1, positive 1. Okay. Let me write that out. That's where I screwed up. Minus 1 equals 0. We'll put all them steps in there. 2 sine of theta equals 1. Sine of theta equals one half. So theta is going to equal the inverse sine of one half. Well, the two angles that have a sine value of one half are pi over six and five pi over six. So that's two of our answers. Then we're going to take sine of theta plus 1 equals 0. This gives us sine of theta equals negative 1. Theta is going to equal the inverse of inverse sine of negative 1, which is 3 pi over 2. So you get three answers. Theta is going to equal pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, and 3 pi over 2. Okay. So there's your three answers. And those are the only three we care about because our interval is from 0 to 2 pi. So there you go.